My name is James Miller. I'm the co-director of the Humanities Research Center at Duke Kunshan University. Now, the most important question that the world faces today is, can we build an ecological civilization? That's to say, can we develop a way of living on the world that supports economic development without destroying the foundations for human life? There's only one country in the world that has truly grasped this problem in a comprehensive way, and that is China. Since the 18th National Congress of the CPC, ecological civilization has been listed as one of the five core goals of China's development. And if China can create a model for ecological civilization, this will be its greatest contribution to the future of the world because China will create a path for other developing countries to achieve economic prosperity as well as ecological sustainability. The reason I decided to come to China is that I'm convinced that in order to create an ecological civilization, it's necessary to reinvent the humanities from an ecological perspective. And the best place to do this is China. Let me explain. First of all, ecological civilization requires a comprehensive social and economic reform. It's not simply a technical or scientific issue. An ecological civilization requires a broad cultural shift based on the premise that human prosperity depends upon the flourishing of our ecosystems. This transformation requires a shift in values, not just economic values, but cultural and spiritual values about the place of human beings in our planetary home. This is fundamentally a question for the humanities. One of Marx's great insights was that the capitalist model of economic development was based on the alienation of workers from their labor. But now we realize that there has also been a second alienation in capitalism, namely an alienation of human beings from the natural environment. And this second alienation was made possible in part by the development of humanistic philosophy in the European Enlightenment, which saw man as the measure of all things, and nature simply as a resource to be exploited through conquest and colonization. So in order to create an ecological civilization, we have to create a new model of development, one that overcomes the alienation of human beings from the natural world. And this is a profound humanistic question and demands that we rethink what it means to be human. I came to China to participate in this great endeavor through dialogue with Chinese philosophy and culture. I came to China to help build an ecological civilization by promoting a fundamental reform of the humanities. At the Humanities Research Center at Duke Kunshan University, we're working across cultures and across disciplines in partnership with science and technology and we're building a new form of education and a new form of humanistic inquiry. I call it planetary humanities. Planetary humanities is based on the insight that it takes the life of a whole planet to produce a single human being. Without the complexity of planetary scale ecosystems and without a planetary biosphere, human life, human intelligence, and human civilization simply would not be possible. This scientific understanding, which comes from evolutionary theory, cosmology, and astrobiology, has the power to reshape the fundamental question of the humanities. What does it mean to be human? In fact, planetary humanities overturns the traditional Western humanistic ideal of man as the measure of all things. Instead, it recognizes that human health and human prosperity emerge from planetary health and planetary flourishing and from dialogue among the world's civilization and cultures. This is a mission that lies at the heart of my research and it lies at the heart of the Humanities Center at Duke Kunshan University.